Do you want to hear me sing? Do you really, really want to hear me sing? For old Lang Swine, my dear, for old Lang Swine, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for old Lang Swine. <laughs> Welcome back to Rob's Homemade and the 24 days of Spicy Advent. We are on day 19. Christmas is so close. I can smell it. I can smell the turkey. I can smell the stuffing. I can even smell the sprouts. Oh dear. Party time. Christmas afternoon, laying across the settee, watching Die Hard, farting like a trooper. Yay! Looking forward to that. So anyway, here we are for day 19. Everybody's still here, everyone's rocking it. With Kevin the carrot mug, full of lovely fresh brewed coffee as always. Mm. Yes, rocking the Santa's little helper hat. Got the uh, reindeer glasses. All right, Rudolph. I've done awesome out with him this year. He's just been a right misery arse. But I'm going to move over a bit so you can see him. Oh, I'm, no, because I'm crushing Katie. There's just no room on here now. There's nothing really else much to turn up. But you never know what's going to turn up in these calendars. We've got pretty much everything out rocking. Candles and glowing. Reindeers glowing. Santa and Frosty are happy. New Kevin and Katie. So let's crack on with day 19. And the snaffling pig. We had perfectly sorted yesterday. So 19. Let's see what's behind the door, shall we? Do you want to hear me sing? Do you really, really want to hear me sing? For old Lang Swine, my dear, for old Lang Swine, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for old Lang Swine. Christmas number one, guys. Anyway, that's enough of my terrible singing as we open day 19 scratchings, and we have. A Marmite flavour? No, I'm joking. It's a Marmite tasting flavour. It's the maple scratchings, which like I've said before, in my opinion, some people love them, some people are going to hate them. It's like a, a sweet pork scratching. But I really like them. I'm not going to lie. Mmm. Just that slight tinge of maple, which takes the edge off the pork, which makes them so tasty. That little bit of sweetness <coughs> contra contrasts the pork. I have to take these off because of course, eh? Put them down here, at the road. So, <clears throat> day 19, <coughs> well underway. I'm gonna turn that that way so you can see properly. So, that was, old Lang Swine, my dear, for old Lang Swine. Maple pork scratchings, banging, as always. So, I'm dreaming of a cheddar cheesemus. Yes. Day 19 is here. What did we have yesterday? We had the shortbread crackers, which I, like I said yesterday, I've saved because I've got pigs in blankets cheese. So, a 
I think we've got we've got a cheese we have a cheese and this is definitely the burgundy wrap one I got a little confused the other day between the burgundy and the red but that's definitely burgundy move the scratchings in the spoon right burgundy Goss is on people oh no I don't need it because it's the first one on the list and this is the one this is the one I've been waiting for well one of the two I've been waiting for we have something that's going to divide people I'm sure we have Christmas pudding cheddar yes you hear me correctly Christmas pudding cheddar so let's see what's inside this burgundy you smell, I can smell like um there's no alcohol in this I know there isn't but it, that's what it smells like uh that Christmas pudding type um smell when you get that when you flambe it in it I don't know I ain't sure but here goes for the Christmas pudding cheddar what was the ingredients again I don't think I read them out did I cheddar milk mixed fruit sugar and preservatives so it's going to be the mixed fruit That tastes exactly like it should, like Christmas pudding. Mm. I'm a massive fan of Christmas pudding, and it shouldn't work in cheese. But somehow, the Chuckling Cheese Company have made it work. That gets another 10. Them just all these cheeses have been absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. I'd highly recommend the Chuckling Cheese Company to anybody who likes a bit of cheese. Right, that's two calendars down. Day 19 is obviously hot sauce day, but I'm gonna leave the hot sauce to last. For one simple reason is I've got I've got a feeling I'm gonna get a hot chocolate today. I don't know why. I just when I woke up this morning, I was like, "Yeah, I'm getting a spicy chocolate this morning." So it's it's, cool, it's going to be one of these two because everything. Oh no, hang on. No, it could be one of these two because that one's got two left in it as well. Hmm. We're gonna have this. We're gonna have this white speckling one. It's like a gold orangey with a white speckle. So here goes for the Chili Jam Man's Bad Vent Chili Chocolate Roulette. I was wrong. No spicy chocolate. Oh well. So, we went to the chili fiesta. 12 days of chili. These have, haven't actually been as bad as I thought they were going to be. I can still taste that Xmas pudding. Mm. Along with the chocolate as well. It's like you got chocolate here, Christmas pudding, cheese. Weird combo, but absolutely quite awesome. So, we're on day 10, because we're on day 19, and we have, we got the garlic again. So that's two times running, we've had garlic on the bounce, which I don't mind, I'll be perfectly honest, because this was quite nice. And uh, so this morning, we've had... 
if I can get this open, which is not happening very well. So I'm gonna use a knife. We've had what we had: maple sweet scratchings, Xmas pudding cheddar, banging, a lovely Belgium chocolate. Now swill down with some garlic hot sauce. That's got a lovely garlic taste. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's it's not bad at all for what it is, which is a vinegar-based hot sauce. As I always say when we do the, this hot sauce kind of, you know what you're getting. But the actual garlic flavour is quite good. Heat rating, yeah, one. Probably not even that. A little bit of a burn on the back of your throat. Well, anyway, that's day 19 done. Four more days to go and that's it when done. Well, actually, no. Five more days. 20, 20, 20 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh, dear. It's taking its toll on me, this guy's every day. 24 days. But it's nearly over. I'm going to be sad. No, I won't know what to do with myself in the morning when I get up. I'll be like, oh, just sit here, have my coffee and go to work. No more... Katie, no more Kevin. It'll be a sad day when the 24 days is over, but I'm going to enjoy these last five days. So thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Click all and you will get every single notification from me, Rob of Rob's Homemade. So once again, from me and all the crew on the sofa, Rudolph, Frosty, Santa, Reindeers, Kids, Kevin, Katie, the Mug, the Candles, the Eddie, the Eddie, just everybody who's here, thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your day, whatever you're up to. Have a good one. And just be happy. That's all you can be. Peace! Hey, the weather outside is frightful. And the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. It doesn't show signs.